Harry's the foreman, has been doing the job for 10 years. Les, an ex-window fitter and the youngest at 32, two years a dustman. Jock, 12 years and likes the job. Joe, ex-British rail, three years in the job. Ted, 10 years service. Average for the crew, seven and a half years service. But what are the problems of the job? That's the kind of thing we've got to put up with, you know. But we can expect us to do with this life. It's not uncommon. Not uncommon? It's not uncommon. We get it pretty often, like. No dustbins. We expect us to pick it up. Do you find that uh, you get this kind of mess in, in necessarily depressed areas or anywhere? No, not really. Not all the time. No, sometimes in the, in the good areas it's supposed to be good. Fast areas, you get a lot of that, I know. It's just lazy, I reckon. People just thinking it out. They just say, oh, well, put it in the floor. They won't get dustbins. If the landlord won't buy dustbins. All he wants is the rent. They never mean the dustbins, like, you know. From the time I've been on the dust, the dustbins job has definitely changed. In, in so much is there's not so much dust now, but you've got all these non-returnables like beer bottles and uh, packets and that, you know, where people used to burn their rubbish before, where they're not burning it now, they're just putting it in the bin and the general public's not getting the, the extra bin to put the rubbish in. And this makes our job heavier and also uh, bulkier. Oh, you got the bottom falling out there. Yeah, well, that's, that's typical of the bins, especially Did, around here, yeah. Well, how, how how considerate do you find people, or inconsiderate, about their rubbish? Well, they just don't worry about their bins. They just say it's up to the landlord, not me. They go, oh, there we go. That's a lot. <laughs> do you get fed up ever? Yes, I do, stay. The men started their work this morning in the Notting Hill area at 7 o'clock. It's now about 9.30, and time for the dump, the first dump of the day. The dump done, now comes the tot, the selling of clothing and metals to the nearby tot shop. Though banned by one borough, totting, the selling of clothing and metals, is a recognised way of supplementing the £17.17 £17 shillings weekly wages. £42.06. Right, okay. Dustmen are fairly close about what they earn from totting, but they're taxed at £78 per year so Her Majesty's Inspectors of Taxes must reckon the earnings at three times that figure, namely £234. Yeah, but this is all... I'd like to know somebody that earns £234 a year. You'll be, you must be joking. You think that's pretty optimistic? Yeah, definitely. £234 a year. Well, I don't get it, because... <laughs> yeah. So with the alley at 10 and the clothing at 6 shillings and the divvy split five ways, that's most of the breakfast paid for. And breakfast usually means steak, chips, tomatoes, a slice of bread, a cup of tea, and a natter. Cost of the breakfast, five and six. Thus fortified with beef and tea, it's back to work and another couple of hours to the second and final dump of the day. Some folk might look down on the dustman's job, the scavengers of society and that kind of thing. But how do they see the job? We can't all be ignorant. Well, if anybody thinks a, a dustman's ignorant, they look... They're looking at themselves before they look at a dustman. Because I don't class my... Though I'm a dustman, I don't class myself as ignorant by a long way. The foreman, Harry, sets the pace as to when they finish. But it's usually about 1 p.m. No, say the crew, we do not do a second job. Les is usually home by 1.30. He likes this. It gives him plenty of time, he says, with the family. Well, he's quite a young man to be doing this job. I mean... You know, do you think he should have been more ambitious? Well, not really. I mean, if he likes the job, I should think they should stick to it. I mean, he's got to do a job he likes. Mm. But do you reckon, really, it's quite a quite a skilled job? Well, it's not skilled, mm. but it's a, it's a job that's got to be done. Someone's got to do it. Mm. It, is a, it is an industry. Well, Les, you may be doing a valuable job for the community, but is it a job you can actually like? Oh, yes, of course it is. I wouldn't change my job for anything. 